एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू स्पेक्ट्रम क्लासेस दिस इज आर पार्ट एट वीडियो ऑन द टॉपिक मेटलर्जी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्योरिफिकेशन ऑफ मेटल्स दिस वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट मटीरियल साइंस स्टूडेंट एंड सम ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन है टॉपिक इन सेवरल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम सो दिस इज अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो प्योरिफिकेशन ऑफ इम्प्योर मेटल्स तो प्योरिफिकेशन ऑफ इम्प्योर मेटल्स कैन बी डन बाई वेरियस मैथड्स सम आर समराइज ओवर हेयर विच आर गिवन इन दस ट्वेल्थ सिलेबस वन इज डिस्टिलेशन लिक्वेशन इलेक्ट्रोलिस मैथड जोन रिफाइनिंग मैथड एंड पेपर फेज रिफाइनिंग मैथड सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दीज डिफरेंट मैथड्स ऑफ प्योरिफिकेशन ऑफ मेटल्स वन बाय वन तो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट मैथड डिस्टिलेशन so distillation first i will discuss what is distillation and how it works so you just see this picture and here is the distillation assembly actually this is for low boiling point solvents suppose i am having a solvent and in that solvent some impurity is present so we are going to heat this mixture of impurity plus solvent and uh, in that case when the boiling point reaches for the solvent the solvent get vaporized and those vapors reaches to this condenser actually this condenser is having two portions so one is inside tube and the second one is outside jacket so in this outside jacket so here is the uh, inlet for cold water and here is the outlet for cold water and this cold water cool down the vapors and those vapors get condensed and we collected the solvent at this side right so in the same manner this distillation assembly for the metals works here is the picture so suppose this is the container which contains the impure metal and here is the heat because of this heat the metals from this impure metal get vaporizes because of its low boiling point and uh, here is the condenser here is the inlet outlet of cold water which condenses the vapors of the metal and from this side metal can be collected right so in this manner distillation assembly works so through this method we can only purify those metals which can be vaporized like like zinc cadmium mercury etc the next one is liquefaction in this metal get liquefied here are some examples low melting point metals for example zinc lead tin bismuth and the assembly for liquefaction process is this impure metal is injected through this side here is a heating zone and due to this heat metal due to its low melting point get melted and the impurities are in the solid form left behind which are having high melting point and in this manner we collect the metal pure metal at this side so this is how liquefaction process works in the objective questions it can be asked which metal is purified by liquefaction method the next method is electrolysis method here i'll just show you the purification of copper suppose this is the container and in this container we are having anode of impure metal or we can say impure metal behaves as an anode and a strip of or thin rod of pure metal is behaves as a cathode here we are having the solution of salt of that metal so suppose we are having impure copper metal here and this is the pure copper metal and we are having the solution of copper sulfate just for representation i have shown the copper atoms at this anode and here are the copper ions in the solution right so here what is going to be happen first we will connect this to the circuit as we know or we have already discussed that on a node oxidation is going on and this is a negative terminal it is attached to the positive terminal of the battery this is positive terminal so it is attached to the negative terminal of and in this manner when the circuit is complete the metal atoms leaving behind the electrons on the anode they go into the solution like this and the atoms from the solution attached to the cathode means they are positively charged so they gain the electrons and they attach to this cathode here this anode get thinner and thinner when this 
copper ions will go into the solution the impurities can be deposited at the bottom of this container in the form of anode mud on this cathode metal get attached so we get pure metal attached to this cathode and this becomes heavier so this is how the electrolytic process works and this is just a representation for your understanding how it works right the next method is zone refining method through this method we are going to purify boron germanium silicon gallium indium so germanium and silicon works or behaves as a semiconductor so you can understand this method is very important through this method we get highly pure metals or through this method we are going to get purification of semiconductor so how it works this is just a small animation this is not the actual picture so this is suppose bar of impure metal and on this we are having a circular heater because of this heating this part of the metal get melted impurities are left behind in the solid form this heater can move if this heater is moving so the melting zone is moving with this heater here this is the molten zone and these are the impurities this is our circular heater which is moving on this impure metal bar and here is the molten metal behind which cool down and recrystallize so this is the pure metal on one go we do not get the highly pure metal so if we need highly pure metal then we can do this exercise again and again depending on the purity of the metal which we require right so this is how a zone refining method works this is just a representation this is not the actual picture what is going on right when you are reading in your books you will get under the next method is vapor phase refining method this method is done by two different processes one is van arkel bohr process and the second one is mons process so through this process we can purify zirconium vanadium thorium etc metals and through mons process this is especially applicable to nickel metal so in both the processes actually what is going to be happen first the impure metal is reacted with the iodine in this van arkel method with the iodine and it forms the vaporized metal iodide and that metal iodide on further heating decomposes and gives the pure metal so here is the reaction scheme for titanium this titanium on reaction with iodine in the closed vessel and on heating at 150 to 250 degrees centigrade it forms titanium iodide this titanium iodide is present in the gaseous form and this on further heating up to 400 degrees centigrade it gives titanium in the form of solid plus iodine in the form of gas and this is the ultra pure metal which is obtained through this process the next is mons process which is applicable for nickel right this is the impure metal suppose and this on reaction with stream of carbon monoxide gas at temperature 330 to 350 kelvin it forms nickel carbonyl if you are a student of chemistry then you know that this is an organometallic compound and so on this uh, compound we are having several objective questions which is very important so this is volatile in nature and uh, on further heating it decomposes into nickel and carbon monoxide further so through this method we get pure nickel metal so i hope you understand these different methods for purification of metals and you find this video helpful if you really find this video helpful please subscribe my channel give me a thumbs up thanks for watching